What's the difference between those who live to 100 and beyond and those who find their lifespan cut short? One difference is a special peptide most people have never even heard about. MOTC is a peptide with the power to extend lifespan while enhancing health, vitality, and quality of life, just like the centenarians in the world's blue zones. However, a significant problem with publicly available information regarding MOTC is that most of it appears to be based on outdated science at best and completely inaccurate science at worst. Because of this, many people never realize its full potential. But here's what you need to know. MOTC is a peptide that's already inside you, actively working to regulate metabolism, endurance, and cellular health. The problem is that its levels decline with aging. That's why centenarians have higher levels and why optimizing yours could help you to live longer. In this video, you will learn what MOTC is, the science that is often overlooked by other experts, and how to determine the optimal dose to unlock its full potential for health and longevity. Lastly, I will share with you a secret peptide that can work orally to increase your mitochondrial production of MOTC. This is perfect for those who don't want to use injections but still get some of the benefits of higher MOTC levels. MOTC is like your mitochondrial's built-in upgrade system. When your body needs more energy, like during endurance exercise, it kicks into action and optimizes your metabolism and performance. Through its activation of the ACAR-AMP-K pathway and stimulation of mitochondrial biogenesis via PGC1A, MOTC enhances mitochondrial function and improves glucose metabolism and metabolic health through downstream mediators irisin and PPAR-alpha, and these enhance insulin sensitivity and vascular health. MOTC also facilitates the production of the vital coenzyme NAD+, which further supports metabolic health and cellular energy regulation. As we age, NAD plus levels decline, and as such, the mitochondrial complex 1 of the electron transport chain also declines, leading to less ATP production. MOTC contributes to slowing down aging by promoting mitochondrial health, which is one intervention established to prevent the repression of genes associated with increased heterochromatin formation, which occurs with aging. MOTC enhances skeletal muscle function and strength in rodents, and strength is positively correlated with longevity. It reduces myostatin signaling, which further promotes muscle growth. It activates PPAR-alpha downstream from PGC1A, which provides anti-inflammatory effects, improved lipid profiles, and cardioprotection. And it was proposed as a potential treatment for myalgic encephalitis or chronic fatigue syndrome. MOTC may also help with obesity and improve glucose regulation in diabetes. It was found that obese Chinese male and children adolescents show significantly lower MOTC levels, in fact 20.3% lower. Plasma MOTC levels inversely correlate with fasting insulin, HbA1c, and BMI in men. And for longevity, there was a genetic variation which was found to increase MOTC levels, and it was associated with centenarian status in a Japanese population. We know this because we are at the forefront of genetic analysis, and we've developed our own service. Precision Genomic Risk Prevention and Enhancement, which allows us to analyze and optimize genetic factors for our private coaching clients. In regards to dosing, if you search online, you'll see the same generic dosage, usually 5 milligrams, repeated everywhere. But where do these recommendations come from, and are they scientifically justified? When I analyzed the available data, I calculated the ideal dose for MOTC using rigorous human equivalent dose formulas. My findings showed that for a 70 kilogram person, the optimal range spans 28 milligrams to 85 milligrams for enhancing athletic performance or addressing vascular calcification, and around 5.67 milligrams for improving diabetes when combined with exercise. But here's the issue. While MOTC is naturally produced by the body, declines with age, and demonstrates significant benefits in rodent models, there have been no trials established on humans in finding an ideal human dose. What we do have is a human trial for CB4211, which is a MOTC analog. This analog showed excellent results in improving non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and diabetes in obese patients when administered at 25 milligrams daily injections for four weeks. So we're left with two options. We could just stick with the generic recommendations repeated by everybody else online, which has proven to be very disadvantageous when it comes to certain other peptides dosing, or we can dive into the available science to calculate an equivalent human dose, which is exactly what I did. Hi, Brendan Henry here. If you're finding this video valuable, I highly recommend grabbing a copy of my book, Peptide Salvation. I have made absolutely sure that Peptide Salvation is the most helpful and accurate book on peptides ever written. I wrote it because over the past year, I've heard guys say, Brendan, your peptide mastery course is too expensive, and I don't have $1,000.
Well, consider this my gift to you and our gift to anyone who wants to learn about the life-changing magic of peptides, because now you can get what is, in some ways, an upgraded version of my course, Peptide Mastery, at a fraction of the price. But that's not the only reason I wrote this book. I was looking for someone, anyone, who could share accurate, meaningful information about peptides, only to end up completely disappointed. I bought every single peptide book published on Amazon only to find they were like primitive cave drawings filled with incorrect science and dangerous misinformation. If you've seen our science check articles, you already know how other so-called experts stack up. But I have made absolutely sure peptide salvation is scientifically flawless, with more citations to real scientific research than any other peptide book ever published. Now to be clear, if you want bonuses, advanced protocols, and lifetime free updates, Peptide Mastery is for you. But make no mistake, Aside from this, Peptide Salvation is the single best peptide resource available, bar none. Just click the link in the description to get your copy now. To refine my recommendations, I analyzed several rodent studies on MOTC, and I found that 5 mg per kilogram up to 15 mg per kilogram improved exercise performance in mice, and the higher dosage yielded better results specifically in older mice, where it didn't have an increase in effects in younger mice. And 5 mg per kilogram enhanced vascular calcification reversal in rats, and half a milligram per kilogram improved diabetes outcomes in rats when combined with daily exercise for 8 weeks. So I simply translated these findings into human equivalent dosages using this formula. And the calculated dosages for MOTC thus range from 5.67 mg to 85.05 mg depending on the desired outcome for a 70 kg human. In my peptide mastery course, I have a chart called the peptide table and it shows the ideal dosage range for all 72 peptides that I cover. You can check the link in the description to get access to that. But the often recommended 5 mg dose may suffice for individuals with good metabolic health or those combining MOTC with exercise. However, it falls short for addressing more complex conditions like vascular calcification or for achieving peak athletic performance, especially in older individuals. These conservative recommendations likely stem from the high costs of MOTC, which prioritize affordability over efficacy, but we should aim to present optimal dosages so that those who can afford to invest in their health can unlock the peptide's full potential. And for those seeking a more affordable way to increase mitochondrial efficiency in endogenous MOTC production, or for those who prefer to avoid injections entirely, consider Pinealon. It's a small tripeptide that may enhance MOTC levels through its unique mechanism. I explain how in my Pinealon video, or in the Pinealon research section on peptidescienceinstitute.com. And if you want to go deeper into peptide science, check out my course, Peptide Mastery. It's the first and only course in the world to cover all 41 of the Covenson's peptides in scientifically accurate depth, plus an additional 31 peptides, bringing the total to 72. It includes over 50 precision peptide protocols, quick reference guides, cheat sheets, and access to over 400 citations throughout the description section. And each video is transcribed for those who prefer reading. Just go to peptides.link mastery or check the link in the description. This has been Brandon Henry, the world's leading expert on peptide science, and I want to let you know that I'm actively working to conduct further trials on these peptides. We already have human studies planned for Pinealon and Vesugin, as well as longevity and performance studies being conducted in flies and mice. We are also synthesizing novel bone marrow-derived peptides, which will soon be available through our official suppliers, here developing eight precision peptide complexes, including a GRO protector for anti-aging and longevity, an immune complex, a cardiovascular complex, a brain complex, and a lot more. These capsules will be produced at a much higher dose than competing products, while also being priced significantly lower. To gain access when they become available, and to stay up to date on our ongoing research, just sign up for the free Life-Changing Magic of Peptides resource kit linked in the description below. That way, you'll be on our email list and the first to know about future developments. Thanks for watching.